love and noise of Lee Todd. Hey, why you use my good material for? <laughs> I don't always talk like that. I don't think this audience can handle two, three thick accent acts in a row. So I'll talk more for a So hi, my name is Lee Ton, and yes, I'm an Asian. Yes, I know it's hard to tell. The only way I know is because the looks of both my parents, as they were constantly telling me how disappointed they were in me. It was always like, why are you so stupid? Or why are you not cured of cancer? Uh, maybe because I'm 12 years old, Mom. I just got pubic hairs last week. I'm just discovering my body right now. I don't have time to be discovering cures for terminal illnesses. I can't handle this pressure! And Asian parents, they're always comparing you to like your cousin or their friend's kids. And like, my mom was like, Oh, your cousin Kevin already do the math at the year 12 level. Why are you gonna be such an asshole, Kevin? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm, it's Dr. Kevin now. <laughs> so yeah, primary school wasn't that great for me. <laughs> uh, and then there was high school. Oh, uh, you look like you went to high school. Uh, what, what electives did you do in high school? Woodwork. I don't even know what woodwork was. Do you know what electives my parents allowed me to do in high school? Chemistry, physics, IT, and motherfucking textiles. <laughs> Why textiles? So, as I'm studying to get into medicine at Monash, I can make an LV wallet on the side. So yeah, high school wasn't that great for me either. Another reason why high school wasn't that great was um, high school was pretty clicky. You know, there was the, the cool kids, then there was the nerds, and then there was the bullies. And the bullies were the worst. You know, all I wanted in high school was for one day just to fit in. But I was just so tall and my English was perfect that all the cool bullies, they didn't even know I was alive. <laughs> And I've got nothing against white people, I don't. You know, my mom, she raised me with good values. You know, she taught me never to judge someone by the lack of color of their skin. <laughs> they just weren't born with the privilege. Just every other privilege. And I like white people, I do. I really like white people because they love a racist joke. But for some reason, when I'm around, I've found that they always tell me that they have heaps of Asian friends. Almost as if it was part of the joke. Like, why did the Asian cross the road? Oh, hey guys, sorry I'm late. Uh, I don't know, why did the Asian cross the road? Uh, so I could introduce him to my other Asian friends, of which I've got so many. And then we talked about our cultural differences, but in a respectful manner. Okay. Wasn't that fun? But, um, you know, white people, if you have an Asian friend, it does not give you a pass to say a racist joke. If anything, it makes me paranoid that my white friends are only friends with me so that they can say racist jokes. <laughs> Like, uh, hey, Baza. Yeah, Tomo. <laughs> Asians are fair dinkum, bloody shit at driving. Struth. Careful, mate. That's a bit racist. So I might hear you. Don't worry, mate. Don't worry, mate. I've got it covered. Have you seen my Facebook feed recently? I'm made to a shell pin now. <laughs> I don't know much about the guy, I just met him last week, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's shit at driving, he's great at math, probably a tiny penis. <laughs> I know, what a racist asshole that I just made up. <laughs> okay, um, uh, help me out. Uh, one of these, um, help me out, it's called something, it's, uh, it's, it's got two wheels, it's electronic, you stand on it and then you kind of zips you around, but you don't have to walk. What are they called? Yes! Speaking of those, 
Marriage. Are there any married couples in the audience? There we go. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I'm so sorry that you're married. <coughs> Get your drink later. But um, a comedy show is pretty good for a married couple, right? Because you know you get to go out, you spend time with each other, but you don't have to interact or talk to each other the entire night. <laughs> it's the ideal situation for a married couple. So you're welcome. <laughs> I'm also married. I'm a married guy. Uh, I'm married to a woman. Yes, I have to clarify that now. Uh, she is very beautiful and she cares for me, but she also happens to be a massive pain in my ass. She's a primary school teacher. And um, no, she's not the sexy kind with the glasses and spanks your ass when you're naughty. You know? <laughs> she's, she's actually the now kind, you know, that hands out participation trophies and just congratulates you and just doing normal stuff, like <laughs> breathing or taking a shit. <laughs> and I hate her job, I really hate her job because she takes her work home with her and what I mean by that is she treats me like a kid, okay? And I'm not a kid, I'm a man! <laughs> like, his, a typical situation at my house is um, I cook something and um, I accidentally mistook salt with sugar and then I feed it to her and she's like Oh, great job, honey! Oh, I clean the house and it's still a little bit messy and she's like, oh, good trying, babe. Good trying. <laughs> and I get it, I get it. It's encouraging, you know, I'm meant to appreciate it, but I just don't appreciate it that much during sex. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it's anti-encouraging. Let's just say, Lee Jr. didn't show up for roll call that night. <laughs> His average grades were an F, which stood for flaccid. His favorite sport in school was softball. I'm talking about erectile dysfunction, guys, just in case it wasn't clear. But I did have a kid. By some miracle, I did have a kid. And we found out the gender straight away because um, having a kid should not be like going to the casino, you know, like. And there's actual pictures of penises on the on the wheel. It's a girl! Shit! What a waste of money! Can I go again like best two out of three? Um <laughs> um, but I did actually end up having a girl and um, what was annoying is that when the doctor told me that she was a girl she wasn't just like diagnosis female no she she had the um, the ultrasound and she's scanning away and she's like okay well here you can see the tiny little feet and here's the hands and little tiny fingers how cute and oh, did you want to find out the sex oh, yeah sure okay and here you can see the labia <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I legit did not know what a labia was. <laughs> My actual thoughts was, what the fuck is a labia? Do I have a labia? <laughs> is labia another word for penis? <laughs> I really hope labia is another word for penis. <laughs> Turns out it's not. <laughs> And now I have a beautiful baby girl who grew up to be just like her mother, beautiful, caring, and a massive pain in my ass. <laughs> who was delivered in a hospital by a doctor. Speaking of doctors, I did not become a doctor. Ah, better segue than segue? Thank you. I did not become a doctor. Instead, I pursued acting and stand-up comedy. Here we go. And um, I have to say that being Asian trying to break into Australian TV and film is incredibly hard. Very, very hard. Because there's only two jobs for us out there. There's, um, there's Vietnamese drug dealer. <laughs> then there's Korean drug dealer too. <laughs> I did go to an audition recently and uh, they gave me two lines. It was, um, uh, how could you do this to me? I'm so disappointed. So I get up there and then I'm like, how could you do this to me? 
I am so disappointed. You know, I dropped that Oscar shit, right? <laughs> and then the casting director's like, great, that was great, but could you do it again as if you were Asian? <laughs> What she means by that, I have no idea, but I really want the job, so I do it the only way I know how. <laughs> how could you do this to me? <laughs> I'm <duh>, so disappointed. <laughs> do you like some cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> and I got the job. See me? It was an episode of Married at First Sight. <laughs> it's where I played jealous Vietnamese ex-boyfriend <laughs> slash guy who provided heroin. <laughs> but my parents, they never taught me Chinese growing up. Mostly because I'm Vietnamese. <laughs> but also, my parents only spoke two languages fluently. It was uh, Vietnamese, obviously, and shitty, shitty English. <laughs> Which is okay, because that shitty English still entertains me to this day. Um, I started a, an office job recently, and um, my dad comes up to me and he's like, Hey boy! At your new job, do you have the fuck machine? <laughs> a what? You know, the, the, the fuck machine. Yeah. No. And Dad, I don't know if I want to ask you this, but what is a fuck machine? You know, the, 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 the machine you put in the paper, you put the button, and then you send the paper to the other fuck machine. <laughs> Dad, you mean fax machine. You're saying it wrong. Dad, what the fuck I say? <laughs> you think you're so smart, you can't even cure the cancer. <laughs> you're not 12 anymore, mother <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot guys. My name's Lee. <laughs> Lee's hot!